and yeah that is basically it right guys welcome back to the channel so today what we're going to do is make a beat as a beginner so this video is going to be for you guys that are total noobs in this video we're going to take you from being a noob and make you into drake's producer so this video is going to be a total rundown from the beginning to making your first beat. Even if you're advanced in logic, you might still learn something. So stick around. And yeah. If you're new here, follow me on Instagram at Mizey. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So please help me. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. Right. So now we are in logic. So your session should look something like this. So we've got a complete blank canvas and nothing going on. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to use only stock plugins as well. For you guys that don't have like Omnisphere and stuff like that. So basic trap melodies consist of five things. I wrote them down. I don't know why. Melody, hi-hat, snare, kick, and 808. So beats are not complicated at all. They all follow sort of like a similar pattern. So I'm basically just going to break down each of them bits uh, today. So we're going to start with the melody, which is arguably the most important thing. So if you're new in Logic, uh, you won't have many plugins. But what is free in Logic is this thing called Alchemy. So I definitely recommend using this if you are new. I used to use these mallets a lot and the keys. It's even got some pretty good uh, guitars as well. I don't actually have enough storage on my laptop, but I'd recommend just picking some good sounds out of either the mallets or the keys but if you even don't have alchemy uh, we're just going to click on here and here's a list of some other stock things um in logic so today we're going to use this mallet called marimba so i'm going to show you basically how i would make that into a full melody and yeah so now we've got a sound that we like the sound of so now we need to make this into chords and a melody so first thing i'm going to get up is a scale so this is for people that don't know music theory. Um, I'll link this in the description so that you can just download it and throw it in. But basically we're just gonna get this MIDI and throw it into here and just press no. And we're just gonna position this up um, at the beginning of the bar. Then we're just gonna pull that out. So what we're gonna do is just click on this, uh, go to window and open piano roll. You can also use that shortcut there. And now what you'll get is something that looks something like this. So these are basically all in the key of C minor. So this is basically all the notes that are in that scale. So all these will be in the right scale. So I can literally place notes anywhere and this should be still in key. So if I just throw some random ones down. It sounds terrible, but it's still in key. This is basically for people that don't um, have any music theory, including myself. Uh, it's just easier to use a scale. I've also got a full video on this. So if you're wanting to learn a bit more in depth about melodies, uh, go watch that. So what we're going to do is make our first chord. So we're going to start on this C3 chord here and just place a note down. You can do this by going to this pencil tool here. So now what we're going to do is some very basic uh, music theory. This is literally all you need to know. To make a minor chord, what we're going to do is just skip this note here. So we're just going to go So we're gonna skip every second note And now that is a minor chord So now what we can do is just follow this same theory of missing a note and we want to make it go further down So we're gonna go Do so da, da, so down so we're gonna use this note here skip one and then skip one and then we can do that again and go with this one So we're just going to highlight these and then just pull them back and place these down again. I didn't actually mention that this is the BPM as well. Um, what you can do is just pull this up and down and this will change the BPM. So I like the sound of that, but I want to make it a little more interesting. So what we're going to do is just highlight these. So you hold shift. So I'm going to press on that. So now we've highlighted all them notes. I'm going to press alt and shift and then up. And now this has shifted that middle note um, up basically. So now it just gives it like a different um, feel. So that sounds a little bit better to me. So now what we're gonna do is get into just adding some more notes. Right, so I just pressed in some random notes sort of, and now we've got this. So 
So now what we can do if we want to spice this up even more is we could just add a few more um, notes. So what we're going to do is press this here and this just duplicates the um, track. Then we're just going to copy and paste this. So now we've got the same layer in and then just open up that piano roll again and we're gonna highlight. Then we're gonna just come to this functions bit and press mute notes. So now what this allows us to do is show us what notes we've already um, done and we can just add a few more. So normally you don't wanna put another one over the top like here, although it can sound good. Instead, we're just gonna look for these uh, like blank spots. Right, so this is what we got for like another like counter melody bit. So that sounds pretty good for like some sort of lead melody. So now the next thing would be layering. So what we're going to do once again is we're just going to copy and paste this onto another track. And then we're just going to look for a different sound entirely to sort of layer it with. So we're just going to type in pad. Be warned though that some of these stock stuff is really bad. Okay, right. So I think I found something. So now what I'm going to do is just duplicate it one more time with this. I'm just going to think of a little top line. You really don't need to go this advanced with your first melody, but I'm just showing you basically what you can get into. Right, so that is really good for the melody. So now what we're going to do is get into the drums. So what we're going to do is press this little plus sign and open up um, alchemy. Right, now what we're going to do is use this as a sampler. So we're going to go to advanced and then we're basically just going to drag in uh, our sample from there. So if you haven't got any drum samples, I've got a free drum kit, which I gave out completely for free. So we're going to use that. So that's linked in the descriptions if you want in that. So we're just going to open it here. And as you can see, we've got all these different drum sounds here. So we're just going to go into claps and I'm going to use this best clap and we're just going to drag that over here until it says sampler and now we should have the clap so we'll be playing it in different pitches so now what we're going to do is find the root note so we're just going to control click and create a midi region and just pull this out now all these samples will be defaulted on c3 which is here like that and we're just going to place a clap like every uh bar So that is how to do some basic claps. So now what we're gonna get into is the uh, hi-hats. So we're gonna do the same thing, open up alchemy, go to advanced. Then this time we're going to go to hi-hat and we're gonna use my favorite one, which is called uh, simple. I'm just going to drag it over that sampler. So now we got it in here. And we just created another MIDI region. And because we're going to have it every two step, we're going to go here and brush tool. Make sure this is on uh, eighth notes. And we're just going to pull this across. If you want to get really crazy with them, you can go to this brush tool and here. And you can just like, that's how you do hi hat rolls. And now what we're going to get into is the 808. So once again, we're going to go into Alchemy. So we're going to go into Advanced again. I'm just going to pull in this 808 here. And now we can play it on here. Right, so it's actually really simple to do um, 808. So what we're going to do is just grab the first melody. So this one. From the beginning, I'm just going to pull this down onto the 808 track. Then open that up. So now the 808s will sound like this. And that doesn't sound too great. So we're just going to highlight all the top notes besides these ones and delete. So now we got that. I'm just going to highlight again and press Alt and Shift. I'm basically just pitch this down to semitones. So now we got the basic AOA notes, we can add some more, so we can just pencil some more in. Like that. Now 
out with everything. Right, so the last thing we're gonna add is a kick. So for this, we're just gonna go to here again, here, and you can use alchemy, but I actually use, for the kicks, I like to use this quick sampler. And we're just gonna drag uh, this kick in called go to and pull it into here. Right, so now you should be able to play it out. So we're just going to right click and instead of MIDI region, we're going to go to uh, create pattern region. So we just changed this to 64 and now we can just uh, tap these in. That is basically it right guys so that's been the video hopefully this helped you uh, make your first beat or at least get better at making your first beat hopefully you learned something and if you have any questions let me know below if you're new here follow me on instagram subscribe if you're new uh, we're trying to get to 1000 subscribers so please help me and yeah that's pretty much been it thanks for watching and until next time